Hello, my dears, Daniela here, and welcome to another episode of the Spa Marketing Made Easy podcast. Profitability and promotions. Two things that don't always go hand in hand, but in this episode, we're going to show you how to ensure that they do. So I've got Sarah and Melissa, our Growth Factor students from Sykes and Lano, back for another episode sharing how they used a leap year promotion to make an extra $2,000 in their business in eight hours. <laughs> but here's the really cool part. This was not something that they had planned. It was something that they brainstormed together at the end of the day when they realized that they were going to be a few hundred dollars short of making their goal for the month. So what I want you to get out of this episode and pay really close attention to is that you're always leaving money on the table. And the second thing I really want you to pay attention to as you're listening to this episode and hearing their approach is mindset. So these ladies easily could have said, well, we're just a couple hundred dollars away. We can make it up next month. February is a short month anyways. You know, excuse, excuse, excuse. Just continuing to talk yourselves out of actually nailing the goal that you set for yourself. But instead, their mindset was to say, no, there's still eight hours left in this day. What can we do to make sure that we hit our goal? Well, I'm going to make you listen to the episode to find out exactly what the promotion was and how they ran it because they explain it best. We also get into a really important pricing discussion. So if you are someone who struggles around charging your worth, if you're like, oh, I can't charge that much for XYZ services, you've got to listen to this episode. Be sure to tag me over in the Spa Marketing Made Easy Facebook group if you have any questions. And now without further ado, let's go ahead and play that interview. All right, Sarah and Melissa, so happy to have you back for another touching base episode. (laughs) I don't know what we're calling these, but on this episode, we want to talk about profitability and promotions, which I think is going to be super, super helpful for our listeners. So we were talking a little bit before we started recording a lot before we started (laughs) recording, (laughs) but in the last episode, you said how in you've tripled revenue from Q1 of last year. And so knowing your numbers, I think is something that's super, super important and having that trajectory of like, Hey, this is what we want to hit in a year. And so we need to make sure that we break down these numbers and we have our daily and monthly goals. But when you don't hit those goals, what do you do? Right? You don't sit there and twiddle your thumbs Uh, you've got to figure out a way like what action are we going to take to make sure that we hit our numbers to be on track to continue to hit our goals. And you guys do something awesome. So I wanted to kind of just jump into that a little bit more. So as far as your promotions, you you said you have a whole lot of promotions in your back pocket. (laughs) Tell me about that. So I first want to go back to February only had what, 20 days this year? Or was there 29? No, it was 29. There was 29 because it was leap year. Yeah. It was leap year. So that's great. But on the 29th, it was a Saturday and I was closing out the day at the spa and we really had a certain goal in mind to reach and we were a couple hundred dollars away from it. Um, and I was like, we just have to do something. Like, we need to reach this goal. What can we do? So after I closed out my day, I called Sarah. Just We always do touch bases if she's in the spa or if I'm in the spa or if we're both in the spa, just so we can kind of, you know, stay on track with everything. And she's like, well, it's leap year. She's like, let's launch a promo that if a client buys $100 in gift cards, they'll get four complimentary enhancements for free. Because leap years every four years, so it kind of so it tied yeah it tied it in really nicely. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. Let me hop on. I'll make a video and we'll give them till eleven fifty nine to purchase these gift cards and then get that um, perk. The amount of um, gift tr- card purchases was 
pretty. Were they purchasing online? Or yes. Like, okay. Yeah. So it was either people reaching out to us because we have people's, um, our clients card on file uh-huh. and then saying, Hey, I would really like that promotion. Can you please use my card on file? Other people just logging into Vagaro and purchasing as well. Um, because the modalities that we offer are really wonderful for corrective results, which is everything that we are, but those modalities don't cost us anything. So in terms of us to give something like that away, and you've said before, the value of something opposed to the cost, Mm -hmm. it made perfect sense for us to do. And people absolutely loved it. And we made our revenue, what, four times from last year. So what was your, what was your total in gift card sales in those hours? In those hours. So we had other things come through too. We did a little bit of a um, products promotion as well. Um, I believe within that, I guess we, yeah, I think it was 2000 in eight hours in eight hours. Yeah. So awesome. It was really awesome, um, and we surpassed our goal, um, which is so exciting. And then it just set us up to be totally like clear and vivid on what we want for the following month. So now we went into March, and I, our March, we literally um, made in five days – what we made last year in the entire month of March. Wow. So we are just killing it and it's just so exciting and it's so fun to watch it all happen like right in front of us. Well, to experience it. It's fun for me to watch. It's fun for you guys to experience. (laughs) Well, listen, I do watch because I've checked this baby all day long, but, um, It is. It's just so nice. And I'm like, wow, we've come such a long way and we're deserving of it all. We put in the work. We, you know, we're always trying to, to advance ourselves, but But clients enjoy promotions. Clients enjoy specialty facial services. So we have March madness facials that are only exclusive to March. And I think really what we try to provide, which other people can is when you're creating something that's exclusive to a day or even like our membership program is exclusive, I think it makes people feel special. And it's really, you have to know your clientele as well. Mm -hmm. So I just had a client earlier today and she was like, oh, I got your email about your new March Madness facial. Please switch my appointment at the end of this month to that one because I just love trying all the new items that you have because they're they're just, they're so much fun, but it makes me feel special. And it's like, that's really rewarding to hear, but also we're not just doing things to make money. Our products are still serving them in a corrective way, but I do think it has impact. Now we don't believe in discounting our services heavily because I don't think that that's giving us a value. Right. right? So let's, let's talk about how you guys set up your promotion. So you have your goals for the year. Do you already have all of your promotions set out for the entire year? So since we're a newer business, no, um, there are some for your annual Galentine's, um, but there are a few things that we have done both years, like our models day, we've done our Galentine's day. We'll do our mother's day event. There are definitely things that we will carry through the leap year thing. Obviously that happens once every four years. So that was just kind of like in our back pocket. Um, the models day has been so exciting. Um, that's something that we actually may even do more than once a year. Um, basically we discount all of our services from, to 50%. We do not discount product, um, but we have them come in. We give them a thorough consult. We'll put them under the woods lamp and then we'll... In exchange for getting footage so that we're getting yes. marketing material. Yes. Right. But typically what they're doing is they're getting our most advanced services. So we're still making a great profit because sometimes people... Um, they're not sure about trying something because they're so fixated on budget. Right. And it kind of gives them the option 
to try these things, which is wonderful. And then they stay with them, which right. is also a benefit to us. So it does have its perks. But it also what is your, let me just, just to give some perspective, what's your lowest price treatment and your highest price treatment? Our highest is two ninety five, dollars And our lowest for a mini corrective facial is $50. Okay. But we typically only do mini services if they're doing a series of some kind. Almost nobody ever comes in for a mini service just on a monthly basis. We it's use... T- Typically weekly or bi-weekly that's so coming in for this. Okay. 85 would be our lowest if they weren't doing our mini. Okay. Let's go back to, I want to talk about profitability and I want to talk about these promotions that you have in your back pocket, because I think that in an ideal world, you do want to have all your promotions mapped out for the entire year. But as you guys are in year two of your business, you're in that testing phase, right? You've got to see what works for you, what doesn't work for you, what your clients are wanting and all of those kind of things. So you had alluded to the fact that there were the four modalities that didn't cost you anything, right? What are those four modalities? So it's high frequency, Wusha, cryotherapy. There are cryo sticks that we have that are just submerged in cold water. Um, ultrasonic and ultrasonic, all okay. of which has been paid off basically the first time we ever use them. And those are typically you have an add-on or enhancement price Correct. for those for the service. Yeah. And so when they bought the hundred dollar gift card, they got four different enhancements. Correct. They got one of each of the four. Okay. And what was the total value on that? $60. Okay. So that's a great deal. It's a, buy a hundred dollar gift certificate, get a $60, $60 worth of upgrades for free. Correct. But which essentially is pure profit for you guys and doesn't really take any extra time, right? That's something that still fits. We can still fit it into the service. And plus with a gift card, even if you think back to the buy 100, get 100, it's making sure that they're coming back in the door as well or getting somebody new in the door. So let's talk about these promotions that you have in your back pocket. Like how do you come up with a promotion? I know on leap year, that was just kind of, you know, flying by the seat of your pants, but, um, how do you come up with promotions? You said you don't discount heavily. Are you focusing more on added value or do you focus on like, like March madness. So like themes of holidays or things that are going on, like what's your thought process Try to be as relatable um, to what's going on around us as possible and things that people may be exposed to, but really aren't into. So like March madness, women typically aren't really into that. Their boyfriends are watching it. Their husbands are watching it and they kind of just sit there and there's nothing going on. So that's why we tried to create something for them so that they could feel that they're included in this March madness. Um, you know, it's like a month, two weeks long. So it's nice to be able to be And we name our facials based off it. Our one's called Nothing But Net and the other one's called The Rebound. And then the descriptions that we have are super cute. Um, But And then we also are doing a bracket. So um, if they get in on the bracket, whoever wins gets a complimentary facial. So it's really nice to just Mm -hmm. kind of bring everything together. Um, Typically every month has some sort of promotional value that goes along or a with special it. something yeah. that they can look forward to in the summers we really focus on doing mini services but we create special services that have maybe one of the modalities that we discussed prior that we gave away for the um, gift card but typically in the summer it can be slow and the way that we found to not be slow our first year was by doing specialty facials called like summer quench and things like that so that they're focused on them still getting skin treatments but in a shorter period of time and they can commit to it but they're also maybe getting something complimentary that still has no cost to us right and i think something else with our facials is 
because we do do so many promotional ones, um, they really are specific to the time of the year. So in New Jersey, our seasons change so frequently that typically your, your services change as well. So we try to pick the best services for that time of the year. That's going to give your skin the greatest results. That's great. So when you're coming up with, let's talk about profitability on these. So what are the kind of key metrics for you guys when you're looking at something like? So I think our main goal is retention. Honestly, Mm -hmm. Um, I think we know that if we can keep someone in the door, that we're going to be able to profit off of them because they're going to either be exposed to another client who just received a service who's raving about it, or maybe we educate them on that service and suggest that it would be best for them next time. I don't use music to my ears. I love hearing that. <laughs> um, but we have noticed, I'm, I don't know if I'm going off track, but Sarah and I, sometimes we work opposite schedules, but then sometimes we work together. And what we have found is there is power in numbers. When we when work, we work together, together and there are tons of clients coming in and out and picking up product, it is ju- it just makes clients want to purchase want and to be purchase. part of something. Yes. It's because. the energy of the space. Yeah. It is. That's what it is. It's like when you walk into, like if you're home alone and you walk in, there's this kind of quiet energy. But if your kids are home and you're, or if your toddler's running around right. in circles, you know, it's like, Whoa, it's just this whole different energy. So when you walk into a skincare clinic and there's, there is this kind of, wow, I'm a part of something and like it's right. busy and whatever. It's, it's just a completely different energy than just you and your client. Right. And right. sometimes they love, like they do love that also that alone time. That's but included. I think sometimes it's like, Ooh, she got that. Like, do I need that? I want that. Like it just, it helps in that aspect for sure. Um, but yeah, going back to the The, profit, but the profit for ours is, I mean, our services are definitely about like less than 10%. Usually you say to make sure that the cost is 10% of what Mm -hmm. actually costs for clients. Ours Ours is even lower typically. So that's how we look at when we're doing promotions, making sure that we're checking because we never want to include certain services that we have that have a higher cost. And that's what we'll include in maybe something that's over $135. We'll include that enhancement. Otherwise, we try to be very mindful. And I think other people should be mindful. If you're going to have a promotion, make sure that you're really checking the cost and what you're gaining. Obviously, right. it's retention for us that we want, which is why we'll do a promotion. But it's also giving them experience with that modality, which then is going to give us more profit for the next month. We had somebody from Models Day yesterday, and she was exposed to the high frequency and the gua sha, and she didn't even think twice about booking those two plus the corrective facial that goes along with it and paying full price for it because she was exposed to it. She, mm-hmm. you know, it's just more of. I think you have to keep that in mind too. If you're going to have a promotion, if there's something that really can give you a high profit, essentially discount it in a way or give a complimentary so that you can make a profit for it in the future. But we tend to, I, I mean, there's, if, if a service is costing us money, We'll eliminate it actually. Well, well, yes. But if so, say with our galvanic, that's costing us what? Eight, seven fifty. Seven fifty. We charge fifty dollars. If that's going into a promotion, I'm not discounting that specific service. I'm discounting from our corrective facial. So the modality is always being paid for. Um just because I refuse to lose money in that aspect. Sometimes I'm okay with giving my time for free sometimes. Um, but things that I have purchased with money (laughs) will always have to be paid for. Mm -hmm. So do you ever worry about getting on this, like getting your clients to expect promotions and or discounts? No, 
No, I don't think so. I think they like newness, but realistically, like what we offer. To, okay, so let's just talk about our rebound facial. Okay, what's our cost? The cost for our rebound facial is eight fifty. We're its value is one eighty. One eighty, and we're giving it four hundred. So there's even though it's a promotion. We're not still within. And I think that's a really key thing. You know, I, on the podcast, a lot of times people will hear me say, all right, 10% cost of treatment is your max. You know, if a facial costs $10, the minimum it should be priced at is a hundred. Right. But the point that people that you guys are getting incredibly well is like, if that's a hundred, you have zero wiggle room. You cannot discount that at all. So pricing yourself correctly, I think is hugely important to being able to offer discounts, to be able to be profitable, to be able to pay yourself. And so many estheticians get stuck on that, like, what's the lowest amount that I can charge Right. because, you know, no one else in my area is charging that much or no one else is... Who cares what other people are charging? But you know? I also think when you charge more, it makes people more curious. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, my mother-in-law, for example, will show me like, oh, there's this $550 facial. What is this? And I'm like, oh, that's only, and I can name everything that it is. So I was like, it's just the experience or to say that it's a luxury. It's a mm-hmm. wonderful treatment. Um, but the cost of that's really low, but good for them. You're paying for their skill and for their experience. And I think a lot of people understand that too when they meet Melissa and I. And I think that's why we still are so particular um, for when we bring a team member on because it really is part of our brand. Is Very cool. Experience and expertise that we have. Okay. So to finish this up, what advice would you give to estheticians specifically on pricing, if they're struggling with that, and then promotions. Straight from from you very successful ladies. So I think promotions like definitely stay in line with your audience. I think whatever you think that would be, that would attract them is going to attract them. Make it fun, make it exciting, make it so they don't want to miss out. Um, And it can be monthly, quarterly, or yearly that you run this special promotion. Um, I also think that as we go into, people are going to start um, expecting, like you were saying, are they expecting a promotion? Yeah, probably. I think they're not, they're not expecting to get things for free, but they're expecting that experience is what I think Mm -hmm. it's more of. Um, But that's why you should only promote things that are more expensive. I would highly suggest not discounting maybe your lowest priced service that you have, because if you are having trouble with how to price yourself as it is, I think for most people that I've noticed, um, estheticians that I'll even see in the group sometimes is they'll have a hard time with raising their prices. It should be that if you're discounting your price, you're still making a profit. And I always say like when we're, ready to launch something, what is the least amount of money that I'm willing to make from this promotion? Mm -hmm. Am I willing to make, am I willing to make a hundred dollars or $80 per service? Like you have to find what you're comfortable in making and making sure that it's not any less than that. But Um, I think something that you guys touched on that I just want to really like drive home is that it's about how much you make in that month, but it's also about ROI on that investment. So it might be a time investment, but because you're the, you're increasing the lifetime customer value of that individual, because not only are they going to be coming back frequently, they're also going to be spending more. So yeah, maybe you made $50 less than you would have at this treatment, but you made $2,000 more over the year because they continued 
to do that. So it has to be long-term thinking Absolutely. about ROI instead of just, which is why I like the um, added value with the modalities a lot because it's it's a very strategic promotion where it's not just like, I love the names of the rebound and whatever, like the March Madness stuff, yeah. but that, unless it has those modalities in there or whatever, it, people might just be wanting that experience rather than like, how can I come back and get a high frequency or cryo or whatever these different mo- modalities are that you're using to then increase your profitability over the year? Well, right. And our March Madness facials do have, have advanced women. Oh, they do. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Just because we want to expose, like Sarah said, we want to expose them to our modalities at a cheaper cost so that they fall in love so that they continue to rebook them. And so also, some, oh, go ahead. I wanted to point out too, um, for anybody out there, we've never done and don't believe in having special pricing for new clients. I think one of the main things that makes um, us successful is our clients are aware that we're always, our current clients, we're always giving to them opposed to giving to somebody that's new because we care about our clients and we think of them as like our little skincare family. And we want to make sure that they're always feeling valued Mm -hmm. and we, there's nothing wrong with it, but I think sometimes it can create some confusion. So I would have to say that I definitely preach against having introductory pricing for a service that you offer, because I think it kind of, it's different than having a special once they've already been there, because unless they're getting something advanced. Yeah, I, I agree. The only time that I will recommend a new client special is if you're doing it to cold traffic. Um, So if you're running a Facebook ad or something to completely cold traffic to get people in the door, great, you know, but you want to, the, the client retention, that's your bread and butter. Those are the people. They are are who hold your business. Mm -hmm. And And they're who's going to refer out. And it's just, it's a sense of community and it'll, it'll bring you through years and years and years of business. Very good. Awesome. Well, thank you ladies so much for your time. Go ahead and let everyone know where they can find you and follow you. So you can find us on Instagram at at Sykes and Lano. Our website is sykesandlano.com and we are on Facebook. And Facebook is Sykes and Lano. Skimbar? (laughs) Skimbar. It is. (laughs) And you also have a new education site for estheticians. What is that? do it is exclusive underscore aesthetics aesthetics underscore education (laughs) there's a lot going on there we'll have to put it we'll put that in the show notes (laughs) yeah yeah, definitely but that really is awesome guys if you want to follow it um it's all geared towards professionals which is who i'm assuming is listening to this podcast and we Um, want engagement on that as well we really like hearing from the professionals as well so yeah. yeah. So if you guys have questions for Sarah and Melissa, go to that. I can't remember it. Pregnant. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tough one. <laughs> we'll put it, go to their education website, tag them, follow them, ask them questions. You also always can go to the Spa Marketing Made Easy Facebook group, but we are all here to help and serve you grow your business. So thank you so much again for your time and we'll catch you on the next yeah. episode. Bye guys. Bye.